Thursday, August 4th. So what we have here, this is LiveMeteors.com. It tracks on the 55.240 gigahertz in the VH UHB band. This we have seen this phenomenon before. Um, this is tracking something since we have been uh, pretty well advised by military experts and how to read this. So I just want to open up to today's report and just say that this is something you should uh, watch. It's something that we have seen, well, things here that justify um, explanation. And by the way, it's not sporadic E, which is, by the way, sporadic electrons. Um, this puppy has been here before. We are looking at this and comparing uh, records to the past where we've seen this signature and others like it and doing a comparison to see if there's any correlation. So something you should check out. Well, I thought I'd continue this because the signals are really bouncing back really hot. Um, this is what I mean. So this signal is covering this complete band and we also have one coming over here. Now, what's really interesting is if you take this and then we go over here to Karuna, we can actually see now, look what's happening to the magnetic north field. Look how it's being pulled. And this is what I love about this uh, website is that you can see this all in real time and you can see if there is in fact a deviation on our magnetic field and as you can see this is just a tremendous website um, just highly recommended to you uh, if you really want to become really smart around your friends <laughs> you can literally blow their mind because what most people what well, most people just face it are asleep they live their lives in such a sheltered perception that they're completely unaware of what really is the big picture uh, and that's what's happening above us so again um, just great resources for you to take a look at uh, and when you begin to see anomalies not anomalies such as this well you know that there's something going on and again this is not the sporadic ionization that they talk about we 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 know that so we've actually seen this by the way um, last for sometimes a day um, uh, we have some really wild signals uh, back in July, just absolutely wild. Which, while I'm thinking about this, I'm going to go back and do some correlation on some ongoing research. All right, we'll get right over to the wind stream. So here you go. I don't know. When I look at this, I think this is a mess. Because... Does it not look to you like the southern polar jet stream is all of a sudden all messed up? I mean, seriously, look at this. And the north, <laughs> let me see, I guess the best analogy I could say when I look at the north jet stream, yeah, I know, I called it the wind stream, same thing. Um <clears throat> If this was a patient, it's on life support. And we'll just let the weirdness of north-south, south-north, all of these um, different confluences, how they're pulling in here. Now, you can see this now. I mean, listen. We could all be in Dr. Beckwith's class, and on this test, 
we would all ace it. Because we have a pretty good idea now of what's taking place. And I think the just the lack of continuity in either jet stream at either pole, well, just seems a little bit odd. And look at this. So went up to that very top. Look at this. So we have two huge vortices. And you can see this ridge, or whatever you want to say that's pulling it up. And if we look this, look at this on the polar view, really brings it out. So those of you who watch the channel, you know I have videos. And we can now use those videos as our archives and begin. And I back them all up, by the way. So look at this. Just massive, massive changes at the very top of our atmosphere. So a lot of things going on, no doubt about it. A lot of things going on. Our world's changing. Um, there's influences from the outside that are now just impacting our weather. I live here in Colorado. We've had consecutive hot days, days in the mid-90s, much more humid than uh, normal. A lot of people don't realize it, but much of Colorado is actually um, semi-arid, high plains. And, of course, when you get where I'm at, right next to the Rocky Mountains, um, the ecosystem changes. But the point is, is that it's been very, very hot. Uh, this morning, we had a very unusual cold front come through. And so, literally, we went from wearing shorts and 30 minutes later needing to pull out the... Um, sweatshirt. So we'll continue to watch this. Again, I just see continued crossings in here. We can see this with the weather. I mean, again, um, in India yesterday, just freak rainstorms. I believe that a bridge collapsed because of the flash flooding uh, same thing up in China, uh, and you can actually see all of this. So together we'll continue to monitor this.